Hi, today is the second part of my series comparing the iRobot Roomba 690 or 694 against the iLife Robotic Vacuum. This time it's the iLife V5S Pro. I'll be comparing the features and cleaning performance later on along with the navigation. So let's start from the top. The Roomba has a much more complex um, interface here. If you look closely, it has a three button interface on top. You have the clean, the spot, and the home button, and, and, and a handle here on top. While the V5S Pro only has a single button interface here, this would be the battery status on top of the robot. And if you look around the robot, the Roomba has a tray type navigation that pulls from the back. The iLife V5S Pro um, is on top, loads from the top, the bin loads from the top. And if you look at how the bin looks like, this is how the V5S Pro looks. It has a dual filter navigation this would be the primary mesh filter and at the back would be the HEPA filter this part is not washable so you will need to replace this once every six months to a year depending on how often you use this robot the, the Roomba has this as a larger larger bin it has a washable filter inside so it comes with a washable filter and it holds around 600 ml of dirt the v5s pro can only hold 350 ml of dirt so to put this back you will need to just place it back here on top and close the door while the Roomba you just need to close this part then slide it back in one big difference that the iLife V5S Pro has over the Roomba would be this mop this robot comes with a microfiber mop so you can use it to mop or vacuum or mop and vacuum at the same time without the water tank and if you look at the box just let me just open the box it also comes with this water tank that helps it that, that allows you to use this as a wet mop it also comes with two has two extra HEPA filters and a cleaning cleaning brush for cleaning the the bin it also comes with two extra side brushes also the Roomba comes with this virtual wall so this is how it looks like the iLife V5S Pro does not have a containment system if you want to get to avoid areas you don't want it to go to you will need to place a physical barrier to prevent it from going to that area also the iLife uh, the Roomba comes with two extra filters this isn't HEPA this is just a plain cloth filter I believe this is washable so these these virtual walls need two AA batteries which is included in the package the Roomba also comes with this brush cleaning tool that is handy to to cut off hair if there's hair wrap around it has a blade here on this part to use the V5S Pro as a wet mop you'll just need to remove the dry dirt bin on top and in its place attach this water tank now the water you can pour the water through this spout on top through this opening here sure. when you attach it you press down so that you'll be able to close the door on top so let me just try to push this after you push it push. close the cover on top then attach this microfiber mop at the bottom. Water seeps through here on these two holes and it 
it wets this part if you want to check the how this robot maps check my other video I'll post a link to it in the description below okay, if you're gonna look at the height of these two robots both of these are almost the same height here let me just move back the GoPro and see that the the Roomba is slightly taller than the V5S Pro this, is, this would be the V5S Pro this would be the Roomba 694 so both of these can fit under a lot of furniture so if you put the microfiber map this is how it would look like one thing I like about this microfiber map that it is capable of cleaning and dry mopping the floor which means you can remove fine dust particles under furniture this would be a useful tool and you can use it to vacuum and mop at the same time but once you remove the dry dirt bin and put the water water tank in its place um, you, the vacuum motor shuts off automatically and again here's the caster wheel the, the charging points charging points on the Roomba this is the charging station of the Roomba 694 and the charging station of the iLife you can see the difference iLife is wider but it doesn't have this IR sensor on top that I feel that makes this better at returning to home base for the first cleaning test I will be testing the V5S Pro and for that I'll be using 40 grams of oats and powder so I'm just going to weigh out 40 grams Okay, that's 40 grams Okay, I'll also be weighing the bin empty so that I will not be I will, I will not need to empty it. So it's 162 grams empty. I hope you can see that 162 grams. Okay, so here's the area that the V5S Pro has to work with. I've scattered dirt all over the room in strategic locations. There's one here on the edge on the right of the robot. There's one big mess here in the middle. And here around the chair, also have some here on this corner and this edge. So let's see how this robot will do.
minutes now. So I'll just let it run a, bit, a little bit more. Then I'll ask it to return to home base just to show you how this robot does in finding the charging dock. Okay, so the robot was able to go back to home base without any issues um, with the A6. It did find its home base but since the Roomba was so close it did not um, latch on properly but this one did so that's a good sign and you can see how it did it did a really good job based on the based on how it looks right now there are a few straight pieces left it didn't go near where the its charging base is so that's expected from any robot vacuum most robot vacuums the same type of navigation so let's look the area around the chair you can see it has cleaned almost every bit of dirt i scattered there and it really did a good job on the edges you can see that there's almost nothing left here and this corner is clean there are some bits left here but overall the robot did a really fantastic job so i have the bin right now it's it's almost it's pretty much full and you can see the contents of it and the bin empty is 162 grams so bin full is 203 okay 203 minus 162 is around 41 grams so that is really surprising this robot picked up more than i scattered on the floor i'm not sure what happened but that's the result that i got so i just want to show you the inside of the bin so that you, you can see how it looks like um it's it's full the bin is full and what's great about this design is it's easy very easy to empty if you remove this primary filter this is a primary the primary mesh filter those are it's, the it's, others for it's pretty pretty soiled this is the dirt captured inside so i hope this helps you get an idea how to empty the bin before i start the cleaning test for the Roomba 694 i just want to show you the bin this is almost empty and i'll weigh it So it's 325 grams empty. Okay, for the cleaning test, this is what the Roomba has to work with. I've scattered dirt here on this edge, a big chunk in the, in the middle, and some of the dirt is here around the chair. So let's see how it does on that area. And another one scattered here, and then here. Let's see if how well. The Roomba does how the single brush system does.
20 minutes now it's around at 19 minutes so I'll just let it run a little bit more and then we'll see how much dirt it picked up and check the area it cleaned if it did better or worse than the iLife D5S Pro so here's the screen of the app and let's just press the clean button just to pause it and then click on end job and the robot just click return to home base then the robot will look for its home base let's see how well it does even with its share on the way share in the way find its home base so here's the area that it missed there are some bits of oats here on this area and if you look under the chair this is pretty negligible but there's some left here and another another trouble area this these dirt were kicked here by the side brush and it did a pretty good job on this edge surprisingly in the first test it had trouble in this area so just show you the rest of the room I can, I can throw. and here other trouble spot some dirt here in the this bed edge yes and let's see how much dirt it picked up so i'll just get the bin and here is the contents of the bin and the bin empty is around 235 grams let's weigh this unit bin full is 264 so that's around 39 grams this one picked up 39 out of the 40 while the v5s pro picked up 41 out of the 40 grams i scattered so the V5S Pro wins this test. Overall, the V5S Pro did a better job cleaning this bare floor compared to the Roomba 694. I feel that this had better edge cleaning. It left a fewer particles of dirt scattered on the floor. While the Roomba 694 was, did, did a good job. 39 out of 40 is, is nothing shabby. It's good it's not it's both of these robots are not efficient don't expect any efficiency with their random navigation and you can see the dirt that this robot left so overall this would be a better value for money proposition if your home only has bare floor obviously if you have carpet the counter rotating brushes will do a better job on carpet but both both robots are good options again the iLife wins in the second cleaning test in this series if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't please subscribe and click that bell button to get the latest latest updates